Well, you're ready for some more cold weather? Well, I was hoping Ray Petlin would spread some love. Uh, we we're talking about spreading the love today. Can we get that with the weather, Ray? I'm sorry, this is awkward, but I thought you said spread the rain and snow. And if I knew it was a love, I wouldn't be spreading this. But now we get the rain and snow that's building towards us and it's going to be a wet night around much of the area and some spots could get a little slushy with the snow portion of this moving through as well. Looking at the radar, you could see a little rain trying to edge into Montgomery County there. So just west of Morgantown snow showers back in Ohio. Those are moving towards us. But as we go through the next couple of hours, that warm bubble is going to try to push up here. So Pittsburgh's looking at mainly rain, although a little snow will mix in from time to time uh, this evening. And then again tomorrow as the cold front's coming through up to the north and into the ridges. This could be snow for a little longer. Clouds right now in Pittsburgh. We've been dry. We had a lot of sunshine today. It was a beautiful day, but now we're down to 33 degrees. East southeasterly winds at six miles per hour. Makes it feel like 28. Not a bad wind chill, but through the night, our temperatures are going to hold pretty steady. And that's important. That's going to keep us mainly as rain with our temperatures above freezing. I don't think we have to worry about uh, freezing rain being an issue the way it's going right now. Into tomorrow, our temperatures are going to fall. This is after the precipitation's done and the cold front comes through, but it's going to be a big drop in temperatures and expect it to get colder through the day tomorrow, not warmer like you would expect. Now, rain and snow certainly inching towards us. And as it stands right now, we have an advisory until 10 a.m. tomorrow for Garrett County, Maryland, and that's the only one on the board right now. Uh, as you look here, you can see 8 o'clock. A little band of precipitation is trying to form, but the bigger area of precipitation, we're talking the rain, the mix, the snow, is going to be just to our west and taking over. And you'll notice that snow takes a more northern path, and the ridges, just because of their elevation, are likely looking at snow as uh, the main component of this system moving through. Pittsburgh mainly in the rain by midnight. This will last through the night. Wet conditions early tomorrow morning. The cold front comes through. A little rain and snow on the back side of that before we quiet things down. But just know, as our temperatures are dropping and since the lakes are still pretty wide open, we could see a little lake effect here or there trying to develop. But accumulations, little to nothing for Pittsburgh, uh, a little coating, but that's probably going to get taken care of uh, by the rain for the Route 422 quarter. We're talking from uh, Newcastle to Butler to Catanning, Indiana. And then north of that, you could see one to two inches, one to two inches in the ridges is possible as well. So this means early tomorrow morning, your commute, rain and snow, about 33 degrees. The afternoon commute, drier, but way colder at 27. So. 33, that's our low tonight, so our temperature is going to stay pretty steady. And by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, 33 degrees falling from there. You can get those temperatures uh, dipping down to the mid 30s by the time we get into early tomorrow morning, upper 20s by the time we get into the afternoon. And these colder temperatures are going to stick through the weekend. We're talking upper 20s, low 30s both days. Saturday is the brightest of the forecast. And then next week, temperatures Monday, Tuesday, mid 30s. It looks like that Arctic blast is going to hold off for a couple days. And you can see how those temperatures start to teeter towards the end of the forecast. And with the rain and the snow and the sun and the weekend upon us, the KDK weather app is an important tool to have on your mobile device. You get the radar, which will show you the different precipitation types. Plus, there's a future cast built into that so you can see how it's all going to unfold. And it's free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.